It's 7.13. I already got my pre-workout. I gotta do some things out of order today because I am so busy. I have so much to do that I just gotta get started earlier than usual. So come along for the ride. Morning guys, it is 9.50 and I've already been out and about for the day. I already went to the gym, already went to Meijer, already dropped off the dogs. Uh, I have a busy day today and I want to get an early start. So normally I know that I videotape in Meijer like what I'm getting, but I did not have time for that today. So I thought I would do a quick grocery haul just to go over all the stuff that I got. Now I realized that I won't have a lot of time for meal prep today, so I'm just gonna do exactly what I did last week. Uh, I had my cheeseburger in a bowl, I had my scrambled eggs with cheese with vegetables, and it was really good, and it was really simple, and I'm of the philosophy, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I am not really doing that much. I have to be done with meal prep by 12, 12.30 at the latest, so I'm just gonna cook me up some meat and get it going. Okay, so quick grocery haul. Um, first things I bought, I got black cherry and cream soda. I was excited to find those flavors. I was just watching Cooking Keto with Christy yesterday and she mentioned both of those flavors and so I was pumped to find those in Meijer. I got some toothpaste because teeth. Um, for my cheeseburger salad, I got the shredded lettuce, I got the cheddar, I got the jalapenos, which weren't really in good shape today. Like, uh, I had to go with what I had, but I was not pleased. Um, I got my ground beef, always in good shape. And I got a huge onion. Like, this was the smallest onion they had. And I'm just like, I can only eat 100 grams of this over the course of a week. Why do I gotta pay for a million grams of it? So, onions looking good, jalapenos not so much. Um, and oh and then i also got these they are epic uncured bacon bits so normally i bought the bacon to cook and make into bacon bits but i'm just like if they already did the work for you hello uh, i've never seen these before so i'm excited to try these out on my cheeseburger salad uh, i think that's it for cheeseburger salad now going back to breakfast i got my scrambled eggs I got that same cheese, pulling double duty. I got sausage. Last week, I said I was gonna cook bacon with my eggs and uh, vegetables, and I just didn't. I did not make bacon every day. Uh, and I was like, I really wanted a protein, but I was just too lazy to make the bacon. So I was like, I'm gonna buy sausage, and then when I cook it today, I will have already have it ready for my meal. This is Meyer brand, uncured bacon. Um, this has been working great for me. I'm sticking with it. I got some Meyer broccoli cuts. So I was nervous last week about whether or not the bacon, or excuse me, the broccoli was gonna be all soggy because um, I steamed it and then would re-microwave it. It wasn't, it worked amazingly. So I'm going with broccoli this week. And I think that's all the ingredients for my eggs. Like that's what I'm doing, keeping it simple this week. Uh, in addition, I bought a lemon, bought some water, trying to do lemon water this week. Uh, and then I also bought some Atkins meals and like, I'm not like super proud of this or advocating this really at all, but these things help out when I'm in a time crunch, when I run out of food for meal prep or when I just don't feel like cooking anything, uh, like especially on a weekend, I'll have one of these and I won't feel bad about it because I could be doing worse. So this will, I bought five of them. It'll last me for months because I don't eat these often, but they are nice to have when I'm in a pickle. You're gonna watch me zoom through meal prep and then I got stuff to do today and you're coming along. Okay, 
Okay guys, it is 12.20, so I'm a little bit behind schedule, but my sister called, and so of course we talked on the phone, and that always takes up time. But I am done, at least for the most part, with meal prep. I still might make some cookies. Uh, Keto Connect just put up the almond ricotta cookie recipe a couple days ago, and I have some ricotta left over from my lasagna in a bowl that I had a couple weeks ago. So I think I might still make those when I get home, but for right now, let's look and see what we have. We have our ground beef, shredded cheese, and then we have breakfast. And I can already tell you that making that sausage was an excellent idea. That was definitely a win. And then for one of my sweet treats this week, I know that I'm gonna be having the Lily's uh, chocolate. So I might make some cookies or something else as well. But this is a majority of everything I had to make. I also chopped up the onion and jalapeno, and that's what I'll be having this week. Hey, what's up guys? It is 7.50 and I'm back in for the night. I had a really eventful day. So after meal prep, I had to go to the shop and get some work done there. Uh, and then after that, I had to go to my aunt's house to let her dogs out while she's at work. So my aunt lives like next to this creek and whenever she lets the dogs out, she feeds the ducks that live in the creek. So now the ducks have gotten used to her feeding them and they all just like run up. Like as soon as they see me come outside, they know that it's food time and there's like 50 of them and it's crazy. So I let the dogs out, I fed the ducks. Uh, and then after that, I went to our shop Christmas party. So we had a Christmas party at a fancy restaurant uh, and it was a soul food restaurant. And if anyone knows anything about soul food, it is pretty carby. So everything is like fried in flour and macaroni and cheese and broccoli and cheese casserole with the sprinkles on the top, just lots of flour. Um, so what I was able to do is just get a burger. So I got a double cheeseburger uh, without the bun. And I basically just ate like hunks of meat. Like it was a lot, <laughs> but it was fun. It was cool. Uh, and after that, I went to go pick my dogs up and now I'm back home. I did end up making the Keto Connect almond ricotta cookies. And that might be my new favorite cookie. It is exactly what they say. It's simple, it's, it's lightly sweet, and I just put a pecan on top just for some crunch, and it is delicious. So I'm really excited about that. I'm officially done with meal prep all before eight o'clock, so I'm gonna watch me a couple of hours of TV and get ready for the week starting tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also follow me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto, and you can like this video and comment, give it a thumbs up, uh, and that's about it. Thanks, and I'll catch you later.